Razin Dada is the reigning Mr. India South Africa, which is in no small way thanks to his go-getting attitude. Karishma caught up with him during a rare break in a packed schedule. It wouldn't be true to say that when Razin Dada entered the recent Mr. India South Africa competition, he didn't set out to win, because being goal-orientated is part of his makeup. On the other hand, he also didn't expect to win, because he's always worked for what he wants to achieve. So when the top three were selected, he may have almost been relieved not to be a runner-up, but pleasantly surprised to be named the winner. Being the reigning Mr. India South Africa is just one aspect of Razin's life. And having studied for eight years in Cape Town, Johannesburg and London, he's now a chartered accountant and an investment specialist. There are many investment types. You can get unit trusts, you can get ETFs. There's, there's a whole array of, of things that you need. The ability to earn an income. I think that's fundamental and everybody... Either. He enjoys sharing his knowledge and insight. And Karishma caught up with him in one of his favourite working environments. Wow, Razin, that was a great presentation. You certainly love what you do. I love it. I love talking about shares, investing. It's a concept that I'm passionate about and I love teaching about it. And a quote that resonates me is, is the fact that a leader is one who goes the way, knows the way and then shows the way. So that's where I'm at at the moment. Why then a career as a CA? A lot of the directors of South African companies are chartered accountants. And it's amazing what they've done with their qualification. They've gone out there and they've changed the world in essence and changed it for the better. Why was it so important for you to enter Mr. India South Africa? Mr. India South Africa to me represents a whole array of different characteristics and things I like. Number one, it was a very business driven. So it wasn't a beauty pageant, it was a competition. What it allowed me to do is listen to people, to network, to make me a better leader. We're given lots of training and grooming and deportment lessons. One thing that comes with the Mr. India is a busy lifestyle. So with that, we have a photo shoot to get to. Let's do it. When he's not analyzing financial statements and the market, Razin also has a busy modeling career with a number of national campaigns and cover shots to his credit. Producer Danny Mudlia has tracked Razin's rise to the top. Danny, how do you think Razin has done as a Mr. India South Africa? Uh, he's, he's worked pretty hard. Um, his win was um, was great for all of us because he's he's very business driven. Our whole um, idea for the Mr. India South Africa is creating a platform for young men uh, in terms of motivating them to a, a point of excellence. Razin, you are also an aspiring actor. Where did your love for acting begin? It began when I was a child, watching my first Bollywood film, seeing how they razzle dazzle the audience. It was incredible. What do you hope to achieve as an actor? For me, when I do anything, I'd like to be the best at it. And I really want to entertain audiences. Now, the Mr. India South Africa title means that you have to fly the flag high for South African Indians. What does that mean to you? I think it's nice to fly the flag high for Indians and all South Africans. And it's something that I feel very passionate about because I, I feel like we need more role models. So what this allows me to do as the Mr. India is exactly that, be a role model. Razin is committed to giving back and has put his time and title to good use by highlighting charities and individuals in need of material and moral support. Razin, you're looking very dapper. I know, I'm <laughs> in my element. What drives you as an individual? Just achieving my goals is, is what really excites me. What do you love to do to relax? I love to keep fit. I love to go out in the great outdoors. And uh, today we have a fun, exciting cycle planned. So I hope you can ride a bike, Karishma. Yeah, I can. Are you ready for this? Let's do it. Come. Razin, you're in great shape. Do you Thanks, eat a lot of Indian cuisine? I do. I love Indian food. Although what I do to limit uh, myself from eating too much is that I cut my portion size very small and when especially when you're going to so many functions so many events it's very important to limit your portions and when you want to build a six-pack you have to eat very lean meats so I have actually cut down quite a bit but I do enjoy it okay so should we do this let's go that's the break kicker <laughs> Razin, if I had to ask your friends to describe you, what do you think they would say? 
I think very enthusiastic, very motivated, and very encouraging. Like, you know, we really support each other. Um, I think the key thing for us is very, um, to be always very positive. And that's, yeah, what they'd say, very positive and motivating. Razin, so what lies ahead for you? I'm going to go to Mumbai to uh, pursue uh, my degree or qualification in acting. And then, yeah, I'll just give some good advice for some good charities that do a lot of good work here in, in, in KZN in South Africa. And just to love every moment. That's, that's what I plan to do. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to spend the morning with me. I Thank really you, had Krishna. a wonderful time. And there you have it. Razin certainly is flying the Mr. India South Africa flag very high. And I see a bright future for this young entrepreneur. And it doesn't hurt that he's easy on the eyes. <laughs>